What if I told you that your Android phone could run PS3 games like God of War, The Last of Us, and Uncharted? Sounds impossible, right? Well, today I'm showing you the craziest PS3 emulators for Android that actually work. If you've ever dreamed of turning your phone into a mini PS3, stick around, this is going to blow your mind. We will start with Anstation 3, a PS3 emulator inspired by RPCS3, the leading PlayStation 3 emulator for PC. It became popular because it offered something many thought impossible, a real chance to play PS3 games on Android. It can run select titles, but only on powerful devices. You'll need at least a Snapdragon 780G, 6 gigabytes of RAM, and an Adreno 660 GPU. The files can be downloaded from the official site, and while setup is a bit technical, once configured, you can play PS3 games directly on your phone. Keep in mind though, the project has been paused, and some users were put off by the Termux setup and high performance requirements. Olympus Emulator is another RPCS3-based PS3 emulator for Android, known for pushing the limits of mobile emulation. Its unique claim? It was the first PS3 emulator to run on non-Snapdragon devices, making it a lifeline for many users in the early days. Olympus requires powerful hardware, ideally Snapdragon 8 series chips and 12 gigabytes RAM, and the setup is similar to in Station 3. In terms of raw performance, it's impressive, handling modern PS3 titles surprisingly well. It also supports virtual touchscreen controls and keyboard input, making it more accessible. Olympus is still in development and you can try it by joining their official Discord. After several years of waiting, RPCS3 finally appeared on Android, created by the original developers. This experimental early port could boot the full RPCS3 interface, load official PS3 firmware, and even launch light PS3 titles on flagship Snapdragon devices despite its limited performance. While it wasn't designed for daily gaming, this early build played a major role in advancing the entire Android emulation scene. RPCS3 Android inspired modern projects like RPCSX UI and APS3E, which now allow players to enjoy real PS3 games smoothly on their Android phones. Next up, RPCSX UI, the official Android port of the legendary RPCS3 PS3 emulator. This one brings console quality PS3 gaming straight to your smartphone. With auto updates and GPU driver support, your device always runs the latest version with the best graphics, especially on Snapdragon phones. Enjoy fast load times, controller support, and high-quality graphics for the ultimate mobile experience. Best of all, it's free, with an optional premium to support the developers. You can play games like God of War 3, Uncharted 2 and 3, The Last of Us, Demon's Souls, Gran Turismo 6, Metal Gear Solid 4, and many more. RPCSX UI is literally turning Android phones into mini PS3 consoles. Finally, we have a PS3e, perfect for anyone who wants a hassle-free setup because it's available directly on the Google Play Store. It's free, regularly updated, and ported from RPCS3, very similar to RPCSX UI, but with faster, more frequent improvements. There's also a paid version, but it doesn't unlock extra features, it just supports the developer. Both APS3e and RPCSX UI support PKG and ISO formats, and require official PS3 firmware, allowing wide game compatibility. On supported devices, players have already run titles like Persona 5, Dragon Ball Raging Blast, Naruto Storm 1, Minecraft PS3 Edition, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, and Sonic Unleashed at varying levels of performance. So there you have it, guys. Whether you're using RPCSX UI or APS3e, these emulators are completely changing the way we experience PS3 games on our phones. Drop a comment below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss my next emulator guide. Trust me, mobile gaming will never be the same.